Today we're going to talk about reactions and their yield. Now the amount of product produced when all the reactants are completely used up, in other words, when our reaction runs to completion, is known as the theoretical yield. Note that most reactions don't actually run to completion, and that's because our reactions usually reach equilibrium before any of the reactants are depleted. And that means that theoretical yield will not be possible. We'll get a number below theoretical yield. And this number is known as the actual yield of our experiment. Now, to see how far a reaction proceeded, in other words, how close it got to our theoretical yield, we simply find actual yield and theoretical yield, we divide the two, so actual yield divided by theoretical yield, multiply that by 100 to get our percent, because otherwise this guy is a fraction, and that will give you percent yield. Now let's look at the following reaction. So in the following reaction, one mole of methane reacts with two moles of oxygen to produce one mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water. Now let's suppose we react one mole of methane with two moles of oxygen, and we find that our actual yield in grams was 38 grams of carbon dioxide. Now if we find our theoretical yield, we could then find our percent yield. How would we go about finding our theoretical yield? Well, we have to realize that we have one mole reacting with two moles. That means a theoretical yield of this guy is one mole. Because one to two it gives you one of this guy and two of this guy. And one mole of carbon dioxide is simply, well, we, we take our molecular weight of our uh, carbon dioxide, which is 12 grams per mole for carbon dioxide and 32 grams per mole for two oxygens, and we get 32 plus 12, gives us 44 grams per mole. This is our molecular weight of carbon dioxide. So you multiply by one mole, and we get the theoretical yield is 44 grams of carbon dioxide. So now we follow our formula. We take our 38 grams, our actual yield that we found from the experiment, divide that by our 44 grams, our theoretical yield, this guy, multiply that by 100% to find the percentage, and we find that our percent yield is 86.4%. In other words, this is a pretty good yield because we see that our actual yield is not too far off from our theoretical yield. Anything 80% or above is considered to be a good yield.